Welcome to a brand new video. I'm Alex Elliott, a PJ Gold professional and top 50 world coach. We're at the range today and I want to really answer this question because I've changed how far I stand from the golf ball from feeling quite cramped, quite close, quite stuck in that golf swing to a little bit further away. But I've got a perfect method you can use from your irons all the way through to your driver and we're answering Andy Matthews question brilliant tip could you do a video on distance from the golf ball please 100% because we are powered by you the viewers we have simple golf tips five times a week it's free so subscribe hit the bell and never ever ever miss an upload so I saw Andy's comment and I thought I can relate to this in my golf game I went through this period by the way I know this will really help you I've sort of hit in the heel and then sort of feeling a bit cramped in the golf swing and then overcompensating and hitting all the way out on the toe. So it was like, I didn't know it at the time. And this is the hardest thing with distance and why you need to measure it the way I'm gonna show you is, when we've hit enough golf balls and we play golf for a while, what feels normal to us could be actually like this, or it could be all the way like this. So it's very, very important to have a marker the way I'm gonna show you so we can stand here, good distance from the ball, good setup, and be able to strike it out the middle like I can. Not saying every time, but about 80 to 90% of the time right now. Okay, let's start with seven iron. The technique remains the same, whatever iron you've got, there is a slightly different one for your driver, but we'll start with your seven iron. First things first, forget the golf ball, that's just down on the ground. Have that out though, have it out just here. So I'm gonna just make my stance where my club falls about a foot inside that ball to start with. Hands on, feet around shoulder width apart, and look at that there. I'm then gonna just flare my toe slightly. Now we're gonna stay this angle because I think it's important to see the distance. Lower that club until it runs parallel to the ground. And all I want you to do, keeping your legs straight, tilt over from your hips, then slightly bend the knees. So you can see there, I have a slight kink in those knees. My arms and my hands are falling slightly away from us. My armpits are over my toes and my bum is behind my heels. Those points are really, really important. So make sure we get those. Even as one of your golf mates, take a photo, make sure you've got that nailed first. Okay, next phase. Keeping everything equidistant, we're just gonna shuffle into the golf ball where we're matching what we just did. This is the genius bit. This is the bit which is great. Now look at this. How I'm placing my golf club down is where I'm sort of cupping round the golf ball with the head. What I would do here now is I would measure where my feet have just fallen. So I can see here, my feet are just inside this KBS sticker. So every time, instead of having to go through that full process, I can get to the range, and this is why it's brilliant, I know I've got perfect setup. I can go hook round, feet just short of the KBS sticker, good ball position, perfect. I'm set up, it's easy and it's simple to help you find the middle, okay? When you go with a longer iron or a shorter iron, you can just follow the same process because as we know, right, our irons get longer, as we go up towards five iron and get shorter as we come down towards our wedges. So the shaft gets shorter corresponding that. So easy, just follow the same process with either a longer or shorter irons. This is really important. You could be hitting your bad shots just from poor strikes on the face. Now this might be new and this is great. So if you hit the toe, the face will sort of twist back like this and cause more right to left curvature for a right-handed player. Now most of us, like me, hit this heel, heel kicks in, and that could be one of the big reasons why you have that weak, short, horrible left to right curve we do not want to see. So follow this process, make sure you've got the correct distance. Now, as I said, this is different, so watch every part of this. There's a slight tweak in what I do from the irons. Okay, so first tweak, I go a little bit wider in that stance. So I'm now just wide of shoulder width apart, not on shoulder width apart. I've got my grip. Again, that head is just falling a foot inside the ball. Leg straight, club parallel to the ground. Tilt over from the hips, 
and again, slightly bend those knees. Arms are slightly ascending away. Keep everything the same, shoulders set, and shuffle into the golf ball. Now, we're not cupping it round the ball now. We're making sure that ball is aligned just the toe side of centre. Now, I say toe side, it's because we tend to sort of move everything a little bit in as we swing. So, I'm going to rest that down now. So, it corresponds just the toe side. Rest that down just like this. I'm now going to make my mark that way on my driver. So, my mark on my driver is around about just short of the end of my grip. So, I know I can do a little checkpoint. I can do this every single time at the range. But also, you could do this on the golf course where nobody's watching, not on that actual shot, but to the side. Check your distance, find that middle. Easy. Look at that. 